Up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Cannoneer is nine years the elder. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannoneer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Marvin Vittori. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Straight punch land. Just a slip there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Straight right hand, no good. So the distance closes here, they will clinch her. 
Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. And now he's got that tight clinch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Good punch. Just over three minutes to go. Get out of there. Oh, single collar tie here. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Okay, okay. Let's focus. Let's Punch focus. coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice. Misses with that punch. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, wow, huge uppercut. That's going to leave him off. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Slips the left hand. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. 35 total strikes have landed for the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. 45 seconds remain in the round. Punch over the top. to the head there by the Alaskan Jared Cannoneer. Got the single collar tie. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice jab there by Cannoneer. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Ten seconds to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Strong kick to the outside of that. Oh! What a round! All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. 
hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Muay Thai plump. Just missed with the straight left hand. That knee might have landed there. Oh, big punch land. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Cannoneer. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Boom! Big jab. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, missed on that one. Gets hit with that elbow. You don't want to take too many more of those. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, blocks the shot. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. on the right hand. Oh! Huge right hand! And how fast? The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Anik. Good stick. <laughs> and you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice job blocking the elbow. Oh, collar tie. Cannoneer gets the tie clinch here. Man, that leg kick looked like a Louisville slugger as Jared Cannoneer lands to the lead leg of his opponent. Jared Cannoneer always had power, but now he's developed the skills to match. He moved down to Arizona, got out of Alaska, got with a real team, and now you're seeing the advantages of being in an area where you're getting some of the best coaching and also having great training partners. What a punch. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it.
All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Strike there now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Now it's his mount. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Hook shot. Oh! He needs to stay with the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. over a short distance. Of course, when you land, it can be absolutely devastating. And in this case, it spelled the end of the night for his opponent. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 24 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannonier. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. 